Yo, what's going on guys? It's Wars here with another video. Today's video, you guys have been asking, a lot of people have been asking, it, has, it is the day of the loan and behold settings video. So I'm here, I'm gonna be telling you my settings. There's gonna be my settings in the description and everything like that. And as you can see right here on my screen right now, my sky looks insane, doesn't it? And that sounded cool. So go use the worst mod, just go to mods, type in worst mod. And yeah, give it a like, I would appreciate it a ton. And if you are not in the Discord, join the Discord down below in the description. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. I have Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you for watching. Alright guys, let's get straight into my settings. First off, obviously you want to go to the top. To start off with default region, of course I play Miami. And I speak English. But for performance, I have my resolution at 1. So basically, this is kind of a good number. 2 is pretty high. Obviously, I don't really see a difference between 2 and 1. Not really, at least. See if I go around this map. Let's just turn it between two and one. Here's it on two, and then let's put it back down to one. I don't see a difference at all. So two, one is a pretty good number because it won't ruin your FPS. But obviously, do not play on point one. How are you gonna play Crunker like this? I mean, sure you could play, but it just looks so bad. If you guys think I should do a video maybe with this, make sure you leave a comment down below. But Let's get into the next part. Let's put this back at one so my game does not look horrible. Frame cap, I have it at zero because I don't get insane amount of FPS. I shouldn't need to cap my frames. Please, please, please do not cap your frames unless you are getting above 800. It's not worth it, okay? All right, um, aspect ratio 1920 by 1080. That's literally my native res. It's basically a standard kind of, um, kind of like the best as well. I have low spec off just because I turned it off for trick shots because the legs i think count as hitting shots i'm not sure particles i do have on so that's whenever i shoot like that you do see like kind of particles and other places i don't really know where else so that's why i have that on particle distance 160 uh that's default i think i have shadows and ambient shading off just because if i turn those on it makes the game kind of kind of dark you know if I stand over here, it kind of makes it look a little bit different. I just have that off because it mess it lowers FPS and it also something that I don't like. So let's turn this back off. I have bullet trails on, so whenever I'm trick shotting, I can see where the bullet goes and see how close it was. So that just makes me kind of feel horrible, but I also like it. Kind of looks cool. Muzzle flash is on. You can see the sniper. There's, I don't know if there's really a muzzle flash to be honest. I just have it on. But yeah, that's another cool thing that I do have on. Sniper flap, I do have, I turn it off and on, it just really depends. Um, but right now I have it off. Texture animations on and object animations are both on, just cause it just came out, like yesterday, for those two settings, so I just have those on by default. Let's move on to interface, where I have UI scale is 0.1, just cause I don't like it to be at 1, that's freaking huge, dude. I don't know how you can live with that. It's so big, literally it's taking up half my screen, dude. Let's put that down back at one, please. Show UI, obviously I have that on so I can see everything, like chat. Use UI, use old scoreboard. I have that on because I don't really like the new one very much. I just like to see it, um, to see who's in my game and what place I kind of am. Dynamic HP bars, I do have off just because I don't think there's really a use to have them on. And if so, I mean, it probably lowers FPS anyways. Show hit indicators, I do have off because there's no point in me having like the number that shows up whenever I hit somebody. It's kind of useless to me at least, unless I'm playing comp. Uh, show damage, that's basically show hit indicators also off. Damage color, black, crit color is white. I don't know, I just like black and white. So I have that as that. Damage scale, 0.1. I mean, I don't have damage on, so yeah. Show chat box is always on, just because I like to see the chat box. Kill feed on, obviously, just so I can see who's getting killed and stuff. Kill counter, I like to see my kills, obviously. Death counter, I don't really like seeing my deaths. I don't think it's really important, so I turn that off. Score counter, I kind of think that's useless, especially if you have the old scoreboard on, so I have that off as well. Streak, it's really helpful for nukes, that's why I have that on. Spectator count, I just have that on because I don't know, just why not. Player messages, I turn it between on and off. If I'm streaming, I normally have it off just to block some bad messages or whatever. But I normally have it on while just normally playing. Show unboxing, I have that on if I'm doing unboxing, so I just leave it on because there's no point in me turning it off. Show ping and FPS are both on just because I can see my ping and FPS, you know, it's kind of essential in this game and every other game. I don't know why you would have that off. 
show movement speed i don't find that useful at all to me um i'm not trying to set a record for going for speed like cactus speed x offset and y offset i think they're default i don't know if you change this what it does let's see if we i don't know what this does to change anything um so i'm just gonna leave these both at default show metals i do have off just because it kind of it's kind of at the top of the screen i don't really like it that much and just kind of looks ugly to me so i just have that off to keep my game clean name tag display obviously everyone so i can see everyone's names name tag style just everything just default name tag name tag health number i didn't know this was a thing but i have it off apparently um so that's cool i kind of guess uh crosshair is custom so if you did not know what my crosshair was it is custom so you want to go to type put it on custom style put it on cross opacity one always show color yellow shadow color black shadow thickness one thickness three size 11. it it's gonna look this size because my ui is very small if my ui was huge then obviously be a lot bigger so if your ui is on point one and you want my crosshair copy these settings if not i'm sorry you're going to try and figure something out Sensitivity X is 0.4, Y is also 0.4. Um, for aim, they're 0.4 as well. So everything's 0.4. Lag comp is all the way up, just because you know you can kind of hit shots better, especially whenever I'm playing like SV or EU servers. Streamer mode, I've never really turned on. I don't think I've ever used it. I have that off. Um, challenge mode, obviously challenge mode is kind of preference. I have it off normally. Invert Y axis, I am not that type of player. I'm turning it off, dude. X sensitivity. This is just controller settings. I'm not going to care about controller settings. If you play controller, cool, dude. I really hope that you're good. If so, you're just going through uh, so much pain, dude. But I've never used controller. So this is just settings that I had for it or something. Here's my audio. So master volumes, 0.3. Ambient is 1. Voice is 0. Guns, 1. Player and UI volume are 1 as well. So those are my sound settings view model field of view 120 weapon of fov 120 as well weapon bobbing 1.6 weapon leaning three and then for my x y and z offset it's two two and then 1.4 weapon and anim aim animation is on hide weapon on ads is on show hands on because kind of weird without your hands show primary so secondary and show melee are all on i kind of turn that on and off just depends on what gun i'm using if i'm using ak normally i do hide it, it just depends for my hud health whenever i'm high on health it's black obviously as you can see in the bottom left right now but whenever i am low it just turns white and pop-up score color is black so if i get a kill and it shows like the number for how many points i got it's just black as well pop-up score shadow i just have that off because it's black i don't really need a shadow pop-up score scale 0.3 pop-up score x offset is 5 and then y offset is 4 saturation in game is 3 saturation in the ui is 3 i always have it turned down my saturation to 1 or 0 actually it's just straight gray this is 1 at default 1 is pretty pretty ugly not gonna lie and then here is that 2 pretty cool and then three it just makes this map really green but i kind of like it saturation for the ui is the ui so it's kind of like your hud or whatever so if i turn that down to zero everything is black and white as you can see on the right and also here's one here's two and then here's three i like three the most because i like things really bright and saturated color hue in game have it as zero i don't really change it as you can see it's changing right now i don't change that color hue on the ui i don't change that either just so i can see what my skins and stuff looks like i mean if i wanted to change it maybe i will but not right now vignette is at zero i don't know what this is really does to be honest i just have that at zero chat opacity is one so i can fully see the chat chat background opacity is at point two so that's not so the background's super bright or super easy to see it's just kind of clear a little bit so as you can see in the bottom left right now someone just unboxed that skin here's the opacity at zero and here's the opacity at one chat text outline i do have off but here is it on i don't really see a difference chat height 2.5 chat timer zero kill feed limit is eight depth map is zero green screen obviously you wouldn't play with green screen because how are you supposed to play but i normally use this for making thumbnails and stuff bullet tracer colors so whenever i shoot as you can kind of see, sniper bullet moves really fast. My bullet is orange for whenever the bullet is moving. Here's the final few settings. Customization, load mods is on, auto load mods is on, of course. So if you're not using worst mod, type in worst mod. All you want to do is click mods, go to search, type in W-U-R-S-T, no spaces, and then mod. And then hit enter. 
it will load up apparently mods are kind of broken right now but yeah use worst mod and give it a fat like dude all right scope borders is off because obviously that this just looks really bad with scope borders on i don't like it especially with my scope scope image that can't really show obviously those every single link i can't show so if you want it it's in my discord but also it's going to be in the link in description to the paste bin link all you got to do with the paste bin link is copy that click import and then type it that in that's all you have to do because some people might be confused with that uh radical image i don't use a radical radical image width and height are both at four my match in message it's my new video it's just to plug my new video because you know get me views profile image i don't know why this is so my profile image it's kind of just like gray christmas lights uh it's it's that i still use it i don't know why ammo icon kills icon death icon street counter icon i don't use any i probably will find some soon or get some made for now i don't use it use damage overlay i do use a damage overlay it's just a blank png so normally whenever you take damage your screen will become kind of red but for me it's just a blank png so nothing really happens it just stays screen being clear finally for timer icon and game overlay image there don't have a link for those either as i said those may be made one day or unless i find some but for now i don't know unlimited fps on of course you always want unlimited fps on do not cap it especially like if you're playing on something kind of bad or something good just uncap it there's no point in not uncapping it window capture is on this is just for for streamers and youtubers if you're trying to record a video and you want to use window capture like me that's what i turn on and yeah that's why that's on finally that is all actually i thought there was a little bit more but guys that is all for my settings everyone that's asked you can now have my settings fully and completely so the paste bin link will be in the description all you need to do is copy that paste bin that that huge link basically it's kind of big and put it in your import and that's all you got to do but guys if you did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like subscribe and don't forget to turn on the noties join the discord and follow all my social medias thank you guys for watching peace out